Hello, this is Topaz with Voice to the Void, here to tell you how to create a Feed the Beast server via FTP. So, going to the official Feed the Beast website to the Download the Server section. You can wget this onto your server, but I am doing it via, well, downloading the server here at this link. So I download that at the link. I then have a program called FileZilla. There are a bunch of FTP clients that you can get. Basically, you just have to put in your uh, different information. I'm already logged into my server, as you can see here. But it, you just have to put in your host name, your username, your password, and your port number up there. And it will basically just log you in. So that's why I tend to like this one. Uh, you just have to make sure that everything is working on the server. If you double click on that, you should find basically a blank page below with file name and nothing in it. So now we're going to go where we have our zipped file. Uh, we are going to extract all of the files. If your server can unzip it, it's easier to upload and do it on your server proper. Now, you might have to change the bat file depending on how much RAM you have on the, your server. This is the default for the bat, uh, the batch file, and if you run it from the batch file, this is important. If you run it from a jar or it is automatic, it's not as important. You might have to change the name of the jar in that file as well as in your actual folder. For me, it is Minecraft underscore server. It might vary depending on your service. It really does depend on how your server launches it, whether it's a paid server, whether you're hosting it yourself. At this point, you are going to upload it onto the server. So it just takes a little bit of time. You can just drag and drop it right onto that folder that we had opened that is the main folder for your server. Um, as you see, it's not currently registering for me until I refresh it. I have to connect again and voila, I have all of the different materials on my server ready to use. It just needs to be activated however your server activates. Mine just launches that jar file right there. Uh, everything is here. You might want to edit some things like whitelist if that's what you're looking for, but this was Topaz with Voice to the Void. Hopefully this was a helpful guide. Please leave comments below. Either way, thank you. See you next time. Bye.